First tonight, paramedics responded to five people being treated for smoke inhalation after a two alarm fire in Dundalk overnight. But the good news is, is everyone made it out alive. WMER 2 News Jeff Hager has more on how a pair of Good Samaritans came to the rescue. Images captured just after midnight on Tuesday morning showed a virtual inferno that would jump from a shed to three row homes on Church Road in Dundalk, fueled by steady winds. It was already fully involved. First thing we said, where's Jen, where's this one, where's that? We couldn't find them. Dozens of firefighters arrived on this scene, but in the heat of the moment, it was two total strangers, neighbors, who had to figure out how to save a life. One of them, Tony Copper, knew that a pair of 90-year-old twin sisters lived in the end unit, and firefighters had only made it out with one of them from a lower floor. I'm telling the fire department that I know everybody's not out of these houses because I know who lives in each one. Copper and another neighbor knew time had almost run out to try to reach the other one, and they didn't have a ladder. I'm like, I don't know what to do. Just climb on my shoulders. We'll get her out to the roof, and if we can get her out to the roof, She'll be okay. By that time, we get her on the roof. Uh, the window, the, the room explodes. It's like a backdraft. Hours later, when Copper saw a picture captured of the rescue, he was lost for words. I'm like, whoa, what the hell were you thinking? Wow. But at the same time, these were my, these are our friends. We are neighbors here, you know, and we do the neighborly thing. I hope people in America know that we still do neighborly things. We associate, we know each other. They're 90-year-old twins. In Baltimore County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.